Hits and Crits. This video is brought to you by Asmodee. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of On Target, where we target a specific, very important uh, topic for the whole song community. And today we will talk about the community FAQ, which uh, came to life recently. And uh, that's why I'm very happy that we have Evan here with me and my team member, Thomas, who are uh, basically like two of the contributors, two great individuals who brought this thing alive. So uh, maybe, Evan, we start with you because not everyone uh, is aware that that you are on this project and that you, uh, not, not everyone knows you. So maybe you can say one or two sentences about yourself. I mean, I think everybody knows me, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Evan, also known as MCXL. I've been around the song community for about three and a half years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I... Uh, I've run some events, I've done some stuff, you know, yeah. I'm always lurking online to tell people how the game works. And uh, yeah, I, I have been working on and off on the community FAQ and the prior community FAQ now for a little over a year. And so, yeah, I'm excited to be here to talk about it today. Cool. Yeah, so awesome. So so especially because uh, Thomas is also with me and we are both on the same team and then from the German community, I'm also like really eager to hear your thoughts on how this thing came alive and how this group came together. And this is how we tip things off with, um, yeah, so that you can meet the current council. So maybe Thomas, you can uh, guide us through how this yeah group, you know, uh, yeah. came together and is here today. Yeah, I mean, from from earlier iterations of community FAQs, we knew that uh, it's a bit hard to work with like 50 or 60 people on a task yeah. like that. And uh, in older versions uh, or in older like tryouts where people came together to do something similar, that was a bit of the problem that the group started big and then it like died down uh, at a point and only one or two people like Evan in this case uh, was one of them uh kept updating the old document mm -hmm. and yeah now when when the need for a new community faq like like that popped up from from different sites uh in in this spring or early this year basically um we tried to gather a group of of people that on one hand uh has a lot of experience in the game obviously and, and knows what the, where the problems uh, with the rules uh, sit and that are known a bit for uh, yeah, they they know a lot about rules. They discuss them a lot in the international Discord or or otherwise. On the other hand, we wanted an international group, uh, people who organize tournaments as well. Um, so yeah, it just the, the the document that we end up with, with uh, is a strong document and yeah has some some backup in in the community and can be internationally used. So yeah, and that's basically. The people then that gather together, we we ask some more people. Some people didn't want to get involved in all of the discussion process, and mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically the the group that ended up now working on that during the last two or three months, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we've really been on a sprint the last month and a half, I'd say. But yeah, since since rumors of SO five being imminent came, we started working in earnest. Okay, so cool, but, but but obviously you did like a really good job of getting like glo globally getting people together. And what I was really um, eager to learn about was when I saw it, when I saw the 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 first FAQ version. Um, um, the link is in the description below if you want to check it out. So if I saw that the first time I saw all the people and the main question I had, is that hard to manage? Is that hard to get like, because those individuals are great players, experienced players globally all across the globe. So is that hard to get a decision done? We will, you know, take a look at the process in a second, but just Evan, like, like, is it hard to manage this group or like not manage to, 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 to you know, to get them, get things done? How is that? No, getting things on task was actually relatively simple. Um, the first thing that we did, though, is we just kind of came together and decided what is the goal for the document, right? Mm -hmm. We had to nail it down. Sophie came up with a good distillation of our three core principles, which are as voting members, we're going to use the, the FAQ for our events. Um, we're definitely trying to 
come together. So, you know, there are there are answers on this document that I personally rule, would have ruled otherwise if it was just my event. Yeah. And I know that that's true for probably everyone that's contributed at this point. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to build a consensus across communities. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, we're trying to avoid feels bad interactions, you know, where you need an uh, absolute giga brain to understand everything. So you're running into these weird gotchas where you're going across five different documents. We're trying to eliminate that as much as possible. Uh, leaving gotcha moments for, oh, I forgot how something works or I misplayed rather than I cannot believe that is how that works. I hate this game. Mm -hmm. And the last one was just a, a, a phrasing thing for, for the document itself. We don't want to ask guiding or loaded questions. We want to present them in a simple and easy to understand way. The thing that fell by the wayside as part of this process that was originally brought up is uh, initially we were thinking we'd just do rulings. But it's really kind of clear that there are a lot of uh, holes in uh, Cool Mini's rule set for this game. And, you know, oftentimes they're very small things, but it's just something that clearly the wording should have been amended years ago and we've gone ahead and done that. Other times there are some things that for competitive play, we have just realized that going with the official wording or the original ruling um, leads to bad gameplay experiences. So we mm -hmm. have some examples of that that we'll go through. But as far as like getting things done, once we'd agreed on those things, um, it was pretty easy. Great to hear. I mean, I, I mean, still, it's it, it, it looks like a process because they have different time zones, different. There, there, there might be even language barriers, right? I know that all, all, all of that group d does good English. I'm totally aware. But, <laughs> but still, there are some. There, there could be some. You know, some, some, some tripwires. Maybe I don't know. But you talk about um, how how this whole process comes along. But before we start in, how you do things as a group. Maybe we talk about where we come from. Um, yes. Yeah. So so the season three and four FAQ, which was being a little bit neglected, was a good starting point. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I went through and I made a poll question for every existing response in the document seeing mm -hmm. what do we keep? What do we get rid of? We got a few examples here. Um, that, that top left example, the blue portion of the vote there, that's... Mm -hmm. I agree with this. This is fine. And you can see that a large majority of the group supports that. Yeah. But below that, we've got the orange saying, nah, mm. this ruling needs to be revisited. Mm -hmm. And on the right hand side there, that red portion is the ruling is probably correct. But the way that this question is put forth or something about it, just it needs to be rewritten. Mm. The actual result isn't an issue. But okay. we did that for every question. Um, okay. And and about half the document was completely fine. Um, some of it needed to be revised. And I would say it was about a quarter of the, the answers were things that we definitely needed to dive in on. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So is that the starting point where you guys define this new process of, of yeah, getting, getting like an agreement, uh, a con like, like a, I mean, that, that we already did bef before uh, this point already, yeah. like the, the basic principle stuff. But uh, we then used, obviously, because it was a, just a good way to work with it, the mm. existing old community FAQ yeah. uh, for this re-evaluation process to just have a, a good starting point, mm -hmm. right? And to, to just get a lot of stuff out of the way in a, a very short time, just see where we already all agree. We don't have to discuss this again, mm. obviously. Mm. Yeah. Got it. And so we had a good starting point just, uh, and mm -hmm. then obviously add new questions or stuff that's missing, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, obviously with the new update and so on, there's always new questions and there's a number of things that needed to be revised or added mm. on to. I also want to take a moment to thank uh, Carl West Coast Bannerman, who had kind of been carrying the torch on the old community FAQ. He recently stepped back. He was a voting member for about the first half of the season five document, but uh he kind of has a waxing and waning relationship with the game and he gets burned out on it when he dives too deep on the rule stuff. Mm. So he wanted to maintain excitement for us Nats, which is here in my town. And he was like, I need to step back for a while to, uh, to maintain my sanity, but I expect he'll be at, he, he'll be back. At he'll be back. Okay. That's, that's good to hear because he's such an influential like and well-known community member. So we want to have him on this project 
definitely. So maybe we dive deep deeper into some of the examples, right? You guys talk about and how you talk about it and what's out there. So um, let's start with something that for your group is tagged with, that's pretty uncontroversial, right? So we probably need to talk too much about it, but they still put it in the FAQ. So maybe you can guide us through canceling abilities, Evan. Yeah, so most of the community FAQ, just like most of the official FAQ, is what I would call things that are just rulings. For this canceling abilities uh, portion, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's a question about how does something work, and it's an answer about how we're going to rule it working. Um, in this case, it's talking about specifically once per game abilities across the entire game. Mm -hmm. There's really only one example of that in the official FAQ and a kind of example of that. And this is a broader response. If it's part of the effect text, it's canceled. Uh, I, I wouldn't call that controversial other than the original ruling, which when that was put in the official FAQ like a year and a half ago, people lost their minds. But it's how we've been playing. It's simple. This is a normal FAQ response. We're not doing anything with the rules here. We're just telling you, hey, if you show up an event using this EFAC, this is how it's going to be ruled. Mm -hmm. Simple. Really simple. Yeah. So maybe yeah, we just, yeah. just mm -hmm. it's extrapolating from from a, a different case that is basically yeah. The same, yeah right. So that's not there's no real controversy, and I don't think in the community at all there won't be a big controversy that this has to be ruled like this. Right. And most of the community FAQ is answers like this. Uh, you know, I, I put in another one that didn't we didn't put in this slide, but like Walda Frey's ability. Mm. Do you have to have a condition token on the unit to get the plus one wound? Things like that. Normal FAQ stuff. Mm. And yeah, it's it's easy. You read through it and you go, oh, OK, cool. So if this question comes up, I know it's going to be ruled this way. It's a useful thing. And it also means that because there's a lot of questions like this for a game this big, uh, it takes a lot of burden off of community organizers and TOs of yeah. having to be like running over to every table and being like, no, that's not how that works. You can just be like, is it in the community FAQ? Yeah. If the answer is yes, easy, easy, <laughs> very yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. And we all know how those, those like, like bigger tournaments go. We recently, this year we had our war in the North. We had the, we have the German nationals coming up and we have those bigger tournaments. Uh, yeah. They're just in need of this because when you, you, when you play like, like, like 64 plus people or a hundred or whatever, what the, the range where we are right now is, um, yeah, you just need something like this because no one will this have, have on, um, um, in the top of his head. Right. Uh, and it, and it probably isn't the guy right standing right next to you. Right. It's so, definitely very helpful to give players the resource to look things up themselves first. Yeah. I mean, if you've got six rounds and you got 64 yeah. players, that's 192 games. In a yeah. Weekend. Yeah. And, Basic questions are going to come up in most games. And so giving the, the most simple and straightforward and consistent answer on this stuff is the ideal. Cool. Maybe we take a look at another example, which is not that clear. So maybe Thomas, guide us through some supplementations you thought about mm -hmm. where you guys thought we might need to change some text here and there. Yeah, that's... Like that's basically um, more of, of 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 a service like these answers. Like for uh, for instance, the first one with the might of the throne and mm -hmm. orders of the crown. Like these two abilities are basically the same ability uh, as motivated by Cohen. Just uh, they work off another zone, or they are for a special uh, attachment, named attachment, or stuff like mm -hmm. that. And um, because motivated by coin now finally finally got fixed and uh, got FAQ'd in a correct and useful way uh, yes. by Steven, we thought okay let's uh, let's uh, use that as well for the other abilities that work the same basically and simon just uh, maybe forgot about them that they should be FAQ'd or er errata in the same way mm -hmm. so that's what we did here we basically just say uh, this works the same as motivated by Cohen. Okay. Treat it like that. Cool. So, easy. Uh, yeah, easy. And and the other one is easy actually too because sometimes you have those little uh, holes in the rules where you know you always have some special people who will come up with stuff like that and uh, oh, say, yeah. "Oh, look at that! If you do it uh, <laughs> like it, it stands there, uh, the round will never end." Because uh, I'm. <laughs> 
yeah the the true rules as written argument uh leading to you know a a theoretically unplayable game state is the thing that we're trying to avoid there it looks like just oh, continue I, I lose my connection unit in oh no it was Thomas. Cannot act in. yeah yeah there we go um so so yeah we're, we're just trying to avoid those sorts of they're absurd statements really most of the time but yeah. we all know how the game is supposed to work but it's also easily solved by just adding a word here or there so there's a few of those the activation one there is really simple the way that corn used to work you wouldn't be able to activate one of your units on a side and it technically said the round doesn't end until everything activates so yeah. sorry man I, I used corns once per game so we just sit here for the rest of the tournament right obviously no one's going to rule it like that but we're just trying to avoid those sorts of absurd arguments <laughs> into in um, eternity we're just sitting here in a, in a, in a yeah, exactly in, 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 in a uh, black that, hole I, I used corn in a game a year ago and that yeah. game is still going forever it's still, it's still going yeah uh, well, what 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 I can remember is when the old uh, Gilly came out. It just said she can or she she only once per game takes a zone, something like that, right? She she takes a zone once per game, and then some people said, yeah, she needs to do this in the first round because it says until yeah, all exactly. players has magnified. And I was always saying, guys, please put a little bit of sense into this card. This is probably we should not use the rules as written here right so a yeah, lot of times my, it's just my common favorite sense piece right? of that yeah. my favorite piece of that one and that you know we're talking about uh 2021 gilly was that technically uh you had to use her the first round or if your opponent you know like if you were blocked out of activating you were okay but like any round where she could activate and yeah. didn't she and did activate and pass she exploded um <laughs> and and you know the the devs acknowledged that on the forums. I think it was Chanel. It may have been Fabio. I don't know, but yeah, it was yeah. it was acknowledged on the forums, and they said they were going to fix it in the next match, and it just never got fixed. Um, I'm happy to say that that is no longer the case. They finally have a ver version of Gilly that is not only functional but very much worth taking. The games that I've played yeah. in season oh. five, I've been taking her. Yeah, uh, me and too. Season four, me too. Yeah. All right, so that was on the supplementation part. Uh, maybe we go to uh, something really interesting now, which is overruled for gameplay. So this is something with, where you guys really decided we need to change something that, that is officially out there, and we do this to have the best possible gameplay experience for our community. So please, Evan... Tell me how this goes. What do you feel when something like that is is put into this document? How do you feel about it? Yeah, so um, this isn't something that we take lightly. Uh, obviously, yeah. we don't want to be amending the rule set in like fundamental ways. We're all here to play Cool Mini or Not, Song of Ice and Fire game. This isn't our game. However, there are some pain points in the rules that lead to very bizarre interactions. And one of them is terrain. We have two aspects of terrain here that we we have decided as part of the community FAQ that we are changing. Mm -hmm. It's not just a supplementation of the rules. We're not just patching a little hole. We had to make some fundamental changes. The first part is on the official FAQ on page two, it essentially says when you declare a charge, you pre-measure your charge and where your unit would end up, and then you factor in any terrain that you would land on. Now, that sounds fine at first glance, but the issue becomes... <laughs> if I if I measure my charge yeah. and I say, oh, there's stakes on that other side, now I have to pre-take the stakes, even if I don't successfully make the charge and align onto those stakes. So we have quantum stakes applying to you. No. Um, and sa same thing for the movement speed and ability and stuff. Mm. And honestly, after we went round and round on this, we just decided that uh, a as a group, the majority opinion was it should just be if you touch it, it affects you. If you don't, you don't. So if you if you make the charge, you contact the tray and you align onto something that gives you minus one movement. Congratulations, you were able to avoid the bog or whatever. Great. Yeah. yeah. The other one that's here is due to a couple of specific interactions in the game. Technically, in the rule book, it says that when you're destroying terrain, you're actually making a melee attack on it, and that would give you melee attack triggers, which at first value, you know. Yeah, it could be funny in a meme to be like, yeah, I get this little ability, you know, I'm attacking, so I heal one health or whatever on my Rose mm. Knights. That probably wouldn't be that big a deal, but there are some interactions. It 
all of a sudden now I'm attacking stakes or, or, or a fence post or whatever, and I'm doing a rally cry and I'm healing another unit. Okay, that's pretty funny, but maybe maybe that's <laughs> not what we should be going for. The big one that we, we noticed as a problem was Eddard Stark's Fury for the Fallen card, which is after an opponent makes an attack, you can charge them. Mm. Well, that seems like a big problem if you like hide your unit behind something and it's like, oh yeah, if you cut down those stakes, I automatically get to charge you. It's it's a very stupid interaction, and it's not something that you would intuitively get. Yeah. So it violates that feels bad portion of the rules very heavily. We wanted to make as small a change as possible, and make it clear that really we're we're trying to maintain how the game flows and plays, and just get rid of those weird edge cases where yeah. you get into a rules argument at the table. Yeah, which probably do not ha- uh, uh, happen too often, correct? I mean, I mean, it's good that it's out there, but it's probably not a thing that happens. Like in a in a let's say with the right, sixty four exactly. tournament that 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 sixty player the sixty four player tournament those edge cases won't happen often in those tournaments correct maybe in the long term but, but it, yeah yeah exactly if you have one player playing Eddard though they've they're gonna play six games and in one of those six games they could set up for this and their mm. opponent is going to be very very bad. If if they're told, oh yeah, sorry, he destroyed stakes, so he, you know, you, you destroyed stakes, so he technically gets to make a charge off of that. That's the sort of thing that makes someone frustrated enough to have a problem with the game, right? Not just like sure. I misplayed, but like no reasonable person yeah. is going to read those rules that way and come to that conclusion without really doing a rules dissection on. It. Mm-hmm. And that's the sort of stuff we're trying to avoid. Mm-hmm. Great. So anything on these examples you want to add, or can we go to uh, the next? No, I think we can move on. Okay. So Thomas, uh, we talked about it that earlier. Um, um, if 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 the community, some members, some TOs, especially, especially TOs, if mm-hmm. they want to dig deeper into the topic, uh, and I highly recommend you check out the link in the in the description below to check out the FAQ, read through it, right, and try to embrace all the changes um if someone needs to dig deeper want to contact you guys or want you know some 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 um conversation on it maybe you can uh guide guide our viewers through uh, how how those guys can contact us or Mm -hmm. you guys not not me you (laughs) sure i mean um we we encourage everybody like uh, especially tos but every player basically to to uh, look at the document and if you have comments on it, uh, on it or want to get back at us, or you have even a rules question that you miss uh, uh, miss in there, then obviously you you can and should contact us. And there are several ways at the moment to do that. You can use the uh, the email address that you see here. Mm-hmm. Uh, just write us an email. You can use the online circuit uh, Discord server. Um, uh, there we have a dedicated uh, like channel where you can write questions and get back at us. Uh, you you can obviously just contact if you are part of it uh, us via the Hits and Crits channel as well. Uh, I am there, uh, Cruelion is there, yeah. uh, Mickey is is there often, and yeah. So there are possibilities, and uh, we plan to make a website based version of the CFAQ as well in the future awesome and then you will be able to contact us uh, via this as well Mm -hmm. and yeah and uh, i just want to encourage you to do that and if you are a to and you are not sure if you should implement this or not or you have questions then yeah just uh, get at us and uh, let's talk about it we obviously would be happy and it would help the whole competitive scene i guess if a lot of tournaments would uh, make this their rules framework kind of Cool. Yeah, and a lot of tournaments already do, right? There are already a lot of tournaments that uh, and organizers that will use the document. Mm-hmm. Yep, French Nationals is using it. As far as I'm aware, German Nationals is using it. We're going to use it for U.S. Nationals. Um, I think we've already seen a lot of support for this. Uh, it's yeah. it's obviously it's nice to feel appreciated, and uh, you know we're we're only two members of a ten man, ten person team. Yeah, and. Uh, it's it's very very nice uh, from that perspective. Also, I, I just want to call out two specific things here. If you run a tournament and you use our document and you have something come up that you don't have an answer for between the official FAQ and our FAQ, please let it's, us know yeah. what that question was. Yeah, cool. Right. 
we're always keeping an eye on public discussions around rules and stuff. That's how a lot of this stuff has ended up on the community FAQ over time is, oh, this question, how do we resolve that? And then uh, it's, it hasn't been resolved in any of the official documentation, so we should probably put it in there unless it's really, really obvious, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're always keeping an eye out for it, but certainly tournament organizers and judges, if you have something come up that's a real head scratcher for you, let us know. Uh, you can let us know what the question was, how you resolved it, all that stuff. But those are the things that I think we're looking for the most. Really awesome, guys. I really have to say you put so, you 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 put so 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 good effort in uh, effort in this, and and we are actually like co-organizing the German nationals, and we highly recommend it. The the FAQ to the to the um, club we are collaborating with, which is three uh, TH, uh, so from Hanover. So they are reviewing the 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 document right now, and they will decide on it. I I I'm prob I I'm pretty sure they will use it because I I. I, I, I really think this is highly recommended for, for each and every TO. TO and uh, yeah, I can really say thanks for all the work on this. I will uh, link down in the description all the links to the online circuit, to the Hits and Crits uh, server and the email again so you can go through all the resources. And uh, yeah, we can probably um, have one or two sentences left because I have one big question. Um, this group now has put in so much work and has this FAQ where it is right now. What is the future of this is uh, of this FAQ? How will this be? We talked about the website yet that you guys want to implement, which is really great because it gives like a, uh, a really easy to access uh, an easy access to the FAQ, which is like really cool. And but what are other plans you guys might have for the FAQ? I mean, um, Obviously, to to uh, keep it up, like uh, keep working on it and make it like a living thing, as I already said, and mm -hmm. keep up with uh, patches from Simon and rules, uh, maybe new rules discussions that will come up. Uh, yeah, to just have a document that has everything in it and is a real good resource. Yeah, and yeah, maybe I I'm not sure, like uh, if if that's really a goal of the community FAQ or whatever, but. Uh, in the end, uh, I mean, everybody who is part of this group and everybody who is playing this game competitively or even only uh, at home at the kitchen table, a lot of people are very, very dedicated uh, to the game, yeah. uh, especially the people in this group are very de dedicated as well and wanted to thrive, right? And we are thankful uh, for the game, but... Um, Obviously, there are some problems with the rule set, not not very big problems, but there are some problems here and there with wordings. And we, we uh, truthfully, we would be very happy uh, if, if Simon got in touch or if there were a way to to get in touch with Simon better on, on stuff like this. And um, yeah, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. I'm not sure. But yeah, just to make that point that we, we are not uh, saying, hey, the game is shit and we need a completely new rule set. and they are completely out of their mind or something like that. We just, yeah, we want the game to thrive and we are very open uh, to collaborate uh, with mm -hmm. Simon on stuff like that. That's cool because, see. yeah, cool because, cool to hear because but from, from what I am aware of, uh, like uh, I think Games Workshop does that too for warhammer fantasy or 40k whatever i i i read this that there is there is the the, the community is involved in uh, faqs for uh, games workshop i'm pretty sure of it um so that's that's great to hear so evan anything from you do we want to like should that group be bigger i i totally got your point that a smaller group can decide faster can align faster but are you did you ever think about making the group bigger to like to, to have more probably also have more impact in the markets no. or no okay because so w one of the things about this um we, we the, the people that are on the group i would say are certainly not like every prominent member from every community right there are so many people in in my broader american community like you know brett and kurt Sorry, uh, <laughs> Brett Lanfer and Brett Kurt Lanfer, Belisarius yeah. and and so on that that um, are very much contributors to the game, and I don't want yeah. to downplay that. They run events. Obviously, Brett was toing Nats last year. I'm toing Nats this year. Um, 
the the key thing is at some point it stops mattering you get to a point where you can get a clear consensus across communities and make sure that everyone's voice is heard on mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. without having to everyone have everyone in the room right sure. Um, yeah, sure. you guys live in germany i live in the united states we're representative democracies we're not direct democracies sure um does a direct democracy have a little bit more legitimacy arguably but at the end of the day, there's still going to be things in the document, whether you voted yourself or your representative voted or some guy you don't know voted, mm -hmm. that you just go, I don't know if I agree with that. And yeah. the key thing is kind of just getting to the point of, yeah, but if we're all playing by these rules, then it's probably fine. Okay. Um, yeah. I do think that one thing long term I would probably like to do is if if we could get in touch with Cool Mini and, and collaborate with them. I would be more than happy to just consolidate both FAQs into one nice, easy to use document between the yeah. two of them. Yeah. Right. We're still waiting on the official season five FAQ and mm -hmm. it's been about a month since the patch. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is the longest that we've waited for an FAQ since I started playing. Uh, yeah. I would obviously like to see those come out faster, but if they wanted to just simply say hey uh these are what we would answer for these questions that are that have come up about like this new rules ability or whatever where there's nothing out there for it yet and just send it our way we could add it to the the community faq right off the rip um it is a live document we have uh in the last month it's been updated like five or six times mm -hmm. uh, i i'm always when i'm in there if i notice a spelling mistake or whatever it gets updated uh, yeah. i know that with the official document, it takes more time to push through something because of all of the alignment and headers and all that stuff. Totally. So yeah, it's it's one of those things that um, do we have like big lofty goals? No, I, I don't think that we're any of us are planning on like making our own game or anything like that. Ooh, off yeah, of it. Sure. But uh, <clears throat> having having a council like this, and I do expect that the membership will rotate to some degree. Um, people burn out and they want to do other stuff than sitting online and trying to figure out what the proper way to align in combat is. And uh, that's great. Uh, we are we are open to rotation, I think. It's just uh, yeah. this is the council as it stands right now. Yeah, and it's probably good, right, to have some fluctuation, some new, some new fr fresh blood in that group at some point in time, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, great, great. You guys took the to, like like uh, you, uh, took the time and made 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 you guys available to to uh, talk today. And I really want to take this second, this one more second, to say thank you for all the community to for you guys to put in so much work and effort. And it's really a quality, high quality document. So each and every one on this uh, uh, um, uh, council, as you say, or the this crew is really uh, yeah. A really great yeah, contributor to, to, for, for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I know I appreciate how much work everyone has put into this. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Sophie and uh, Big Guy in particular have really yeah. uh, helped manage things a lot from the outset. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's uh, It's gone surprisingly well is how I'd put it. Yeah. I always come into awesome. this kind of stuff thinking... Uh, you know, I'm a little cynical. Is this going to work out? And it actually, and it does went really yeah. well. Yeah. Awesome. And this is, yeah, I know, this I'm is what we're here for. A, yeah. It was a real, really nice process. I have to say it was a, a nice ride with all of the people in that group. I cool. imagined it to be a lot harder as well at the beginning. And that's great yeah. to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So thanks once more. And uh, I think there is nothing more to say than all of us. Keep rolling those crits. Come for the hits and stay for the crits.